Hello ladies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So today I'm going to be talking to you ladies about promiscuous men and the type of men that, you know, traditional women would never want to settle down with. Um, this is an important conversation because here online, podcast, and just in general, we hear a lot of men being pro-hookup culture for maybe a certain period of their life and then all of a sudden believing that they can have a traditional wife and have a traditional family after years, sometimes a decade or more, of being promiscuous and what they would like to call pumping and dumping different types of women with no um, intentions of a commitment and or relationship. And a lot of these promiscuous guys will lie right? They will lie to the woman that they meet saying that they want a relationship, they want a family, but they forget to leave out just not with you because I'm not ready for that yet and I just want to sleep with you, right? So they'll get girls and get attention from traditional women or at least women that want a relationship just to try to sleep with them and then dump them or go ghost or disregard the woman and what he was, you know, telling her to play her um, in the first place. So the problem with a a promiscuous man is that he most likely is emotionally unavailable and he's emotionally stunted. Um, A lot of promiscuous men are not in touch with their feelings. They don't know how to articulate how they feel and what they really need from a woman. Hence why they go out and play games and are solely focused on sleeping with different girls. Right, A lot of guys even say that they don't want to be around a woman if he's not able to sleep with her. So, you know, that brings me to my second reason why you should leave promiscuous men alone and never take them seriously for a relationship is because they see women as objects. Um, they don't see women as human beings that, um, you know, that can have good conversation and and friendship and things like that. They see women as sex objects and as objects to be conquered, right? Not as a person he can build a legacy with and have a home with and provide and protect. Um, So, you know, for that reason, a lot of promiscuous men just aren't fit for long-term relationship, let alone marriage. And another way, you know, or at least one way you can tell that a man is promiscuous without him actually saying it is if he's been single for a very, very long time. Now, I know a lot of people don't like to use this as a measure to um, judge a man's promiscuity. But ladies, I'm, you know, urging you to use this measure. If you're single and dating and a guy says he's been single himself for years you know, and definitely over five years, I would consider that a promiscuous man. Um, because he has been, if he hasn't been celibate (laughs) and he hasn't been in a relationship, then it's obvious he's been having sex and he's been sleeping around with different girls from time to time. And a man like that clearly doesn't value relationship. Um, and he, he also doesn't really value women because he's able to sleep with women that he would not be with and that he would not protect, provide for in any way or have a commitment with. So those types of guys are, you know, they're just unable to evolve to being a committed man, right? They're promiscuous. They want to sleep around. They only value, um, what's in between your legs, right? And and they tell you this in multiple ways, right? Even here in these YouTube streets, there are men who are literally saying that marriage is of no benefit to them. It's not worth it. But they're also not talking about how they're going to just be celibate and be abstinent. So clearly, they are very pro hookup culture. They are anti commitment. Um, and they just want to sleep around. They don't care to have families. Um, And no guy can spend, you know, a decade of his life sleeping around and having, you know, little to no emotional connection with a woman to then all of a sudden claiming he'll be the best husband and let alone the best father. 
I'm a promiscuous man. It's going to be hard for him to raise children. Usually men who are promiscuous and end up having kids become deadbeat dads. They become absent fathers because they're not going to get married. They're promiscuous. They want to sleep around. So these are the type of guys that will just have a lot of baby mamas. So a traditional woman is not looking to be with a promiscuous man for these reasons. Um, you know, promiscuous men, they tend to want to have kids and marry and and just have that image of their head maybe when they get older in the last live that I did um, I did a review of a podcast episode about marriage and the host of the podcast was in his 40s saying that he wants to finally start thinking about you know having a wife and having children Um, but he's 40 (laughs) and I'm not trying to age shame But clearly, over the last two decades of his life, if he hasn't been married, he's been single. Over the last two decades of his life, he's been sleeping around. Um, That's a lot of women I'm sure he's been with. And his woman that he finds who he'd make his wife, whether he wants to admit it or not, he's probably not going to be very impressed by her. He's probably only going to be with her because she's the right woman at the right time and he's just ready to have some kids. But at the end of the day, he's not going to be wowed by her. He's not going to be amazed by her. He's not going to really have much honor for her because he's slept around with so many women. His programming is to not see women as valuable people, but as objects that he can use for his benefit, right? Now, don't get me wrong, relationships are give and take. If you are with a man, um, there is there are things that you should be doing to fulfill his needs and his desires, just like he will be doing for you. But it, it shouldn't be in that way. It shouldn't be in that way where he just picks you up and drops you whenever he feels like it, which is how promiscuous men tend to move amongst women in general. Um, they only want a woman that can do things for him on his time when he wants it and how he wants it instead of treating that woman that he's sharing such intimate space with um, with respect and with honor and seeing her as something as a person who's worthy of his commitment <clears throat> and another reason as to why traditional woman would never want to be with a promiscuous man is because he just basically doesn't understand the um, rules of engagement when it comes to traditionalism. There can't be any more of a worse type of guy to enter into traditional roles than a man who was promiscuous. Just doesn't work that way. True traditional masculine men don't waste their time sleeping around. They are focused on building a legacy, building a life, providing, protecting, which is why they're more disciplined, which is why they're more trustworthy. Other men see other married men um, as grounded, rooted, trustworthy, disciplined, which is why we see married men get appointed to the top positions of companies and in our leadership roles as our presidents, as our mayors, and things like that. Single bachelor promiscuous men will never be appointed to those roles because they're not trustworthy they don't have discipline they don't value much of anything because they you know they clearly don't value family which is the core of the community and if you have a bunch of men running around who want to do everything but but have a family they're not fit to be our leaders they're not fit to be the men that we highly um, respect and hold in high regards for our leadership positions and to to give us guidance and direction in the community promiscuous boys especially men who are well into their 30s and yes i said promiscuous boys (laughs) because these are the types of men that are grown have grown man money the grown man look but little boy carnal desires and traditional women do not want to be with these types of men they are not the type of men you trust with your livelihood and to take care of you and your future children they're also the most likely to cheat even if they do end up getting married because think about it his programming is to be promiscuous and to sleep around and that's not going to just shut off um, once he meets his wife, especially after a decade and a half or even two decades for some men that marry in their 40s of of doing that, of, of sleeping around, right? Promiscuous men are also very hard to please. Things you do for him, he's just, like I said before, he's not going to be impressed. He's not going to be wowed. And promiscuous men in general are just not a turn on for really any kind of woman, <laughs> right? No woman wants to uh, brag about how many bodies or how many 
other girls her man has slept with before her usually that's something men congratulate each other on on how many girls they're able to acquire but women do not congratulate each other or men for doing that type of stuff we're repulsed by that um, we don't talk about it enough we don't say it um, and some women don't really quote unquote penalize their man for it but certain women especially traditional women will keep this in mind when they're vetting and being courted by a promiscuous guy and most likely she won't trust him and it most likely won't work right so I just wanted to put that out there that promiscuous men are um not the type of man you should go to first and foremost for marriage even if they say oh now I want to get married at 40 years old after 20 years of his life of being single sleeping around that type of man is the least likely to know um, how to be a husband and how to be a father if he doesn't have any kids at that age either and he's most likely not going to fulfill your needs um, he's most likely probably going to also cheat and commit adultery in your marriage because he spent a significant amount of his life uh, practicing you know very little sexual discipline and um, the likelihood of him able to keep it up long term or till death do you part in the marriage is very unlikely. Maybe he'll keep it up for the first two or three years, but after five to seven years, he's going to be looking elsewhere. So I would stay away from promiscuous men. These guys tend to look very good. They tend to have it together on paper, but their mindset is very carnal and childish and very much playboy. And I'm not talking about young guys who are under the age of 25. I'm really talking about older men, um, men who are 30 and up actually, or, you know, even 27 to 28 um if he hasn't had a relationship in a few years i would consider that a red flag because he also has been celibate so he's been out here sleeping around with women that he clearly doesn't value enough to initiate a commitment with and um i would ask myself you know what would make me so special compared to all these girls he's been with already what do i have to offer him and that would mean you'd have to do backflips and back tricks for a guy who already is letting you know he doesn't value women very much so that's all i wanted to say in this video ladies i hope you enjoyed like comment and subscribe and i will talk to you ladies in the next one